And now we get on to doing the waste armor. Uh, this is just going to be a straight attached parts on. Because I'm. Um, Because these, this was pretty much easy, to be honest. Put the two oranges here and here, like so. Come around the back. Put one here. And the other one here. And that's how it looks. And we come back here. Split this part a little bit. Just slide this on. Lines up like that. And then take this. I want to make sure, even though it's not painted, that, let's see. Make sure that the long thin side is facing down like so and just plugs in like so well, I plan not to open that anyway so or did I do that wrong? I didn't put it high enough. Here we go. Yeah, I plan not to open that anyway, so that's that. And come up the front here. Split those apart. Slide this into place. And slide this into place. Here we go. And take these, make sure that they're the correct ones. And just one. Like so. Nope. And like so. I'll get to those in a minute on what to do. Like so, and like so. Hmm. That looks pretty nice. All right, coming over here, be very careful with this. Like even. There we go. Make it even. Slide it in. Take one of the beam and see where's that I've already painted. Stick it in. And gently rotate up. There we go. Just gently push those in. Or do it like this now. Just push it up. That way it's nice and even, like I should have done. And just slide it in like so. Take, let's see. Where did it go? Do it like a toothpick. Slowly pull it out. Of course, now it doesn't want to agree with me. We're just coming underneath and push it. There we go. Gently 
slide into place. And folded it. There you go, there's the side skirts. Come back over here. Slide them in. Just make sure that it connects well. Actually, slide this in first, then connect. Like so on the front, or back, and on the front, like so. And it's just words and repeat, just very carefully though. And there we go. You just snap these on. Like so. And like so. There you have the waist skirt armor. Our next part will be, and now we move on to the arms. Uh, yeah, this should be interesting. Uh, first, let's take these two apart. So, over here, clasp this down, by the way, and just slide them together like so. They line up with the grooves. Not, they'll just snap into place. There you go. And come over here. Make sure to have this on the angle. Here we go. And there's your shoulder. Put that there for now. All these fingers, all this way. All right. Take this part and this part, marry them together. And there you go. All right, all right here we go. This part goes like so, because you want to have this little notch going to the right there. I'll snap it to place like so. Come around. This will just slide into each other. Nice tight grip. At this point, you can just put this right back on. There you go. And with this, this you gotta be very eyeful for. So, here we go. When you go in like this, it just lets it slide all the way in like so. so that comes important later. So, take this poly cap. Make sure the extended part is facing down or where the U part is is like facing towards you and just slide it in. 
it'll fit in there correctly. Make sure this lines up. Like so, uh, make sure. Oh, I'm sorry. Make sure these two notches face this way. Otherwise, you won't get it in there. There you go. Take this part and this part. Now that isn't it. Oh. One thing I forgot to do. Make sure that this clips in like so and this little tab is facing out. Here we go. Snug fit. And like I said, make sure that it's like this. And you're pretty much good to go. Now with this, uh, it goes in like so. I think. I'm sorry. It goes in like so. Hmm. Give me a second. Just gonna make sure with the manual here. Does go like this, it's just not agreeing with me for some reason. There we go. Take this little part, make sure the grooves are facing down, and just snap it in. And you just slide it all together. Like so. Come over here, put the thumb in first, otherwise you're going to have to leave problems later. All the way till it pretty much goes like that. Sorry, just be like that. Then you come in with the wrist, uh, like so, I believe. Yeah. And you just come in the arm guard, the hand guard really, and that didn't want to do it. Right, let's try that again. Here we go. And for fun and giggles, let's put the fist in. And bend the little thumb part. Like so. And just connect everything together. Very gently. Rotate this around. Put the arm through the shield, or the shoulder armor, I mean. So. And connect like so. And there you have it. The two arms completed. We're now going to wrap up with, and finally we get to the legs. Okay, oh, forgot about that little piece. 
Let's start with the feet, actually. Take the blue piece here. Slide, you want to have the flat part here. Slip it to here. Like so. Take the bottom of the foot and just slide it in to hold it together. Like so. And you find where is it? There we go. Take this trim and this pretty much covers up the fr front of the foot. And there we go. Go back here. Grab these two pieces. This is this can be done separately, it's not a big deal. You just put them together like so. And let's see where it is. there it is. Take this piece and just sandwich it in there. Like so. Then you take this piece. Combine it and you get the right angle. There we go. And just take the feet, line it up. There you go. Here's the foot. Next part, I just like to put the angles now or anchor cards together. Pretty much. Try to make sure to keep this straight as possible. It will move around, but there you go. It's not a big deal. Same with the other side. Make sure that these two pieces connect together. Make it one like that. Yeah, and then take this trim. Make sure that the notches are facing down. And just slide them in together, like so. And there you have the foot. Next with the leg, or the lower part of the leg. Uh, let's see, where was it? Take this piece. It'll go in the front here, like so. You come back with this piece and line it up. Or at least try to. It should be like this. Then, where is it? Make sure the long goes with the long side, short goes with the short side. So, this will be the long side. They'll be outward more because the vent will be facing out. Come on this side. Line it up and there we go. You come back, grab this used shift piece. It'll go on the back and grab the front. Slide it in. At this point, I take these two together. Trust me, this will be so much easier doing this. Combine them. Like so. What I like to do is push this a little bit. Like so. Then slowly push it in to get a flush. Like so. You take this part, and I have to go back over this because that didn't paint well. It's not that big of a deal. Mm 
Let's see. Why not just combine it with this piece right now? That way it's less of a hassle later on. Take these two pieces, make sure that they go like so, and like so. This will be the front, so bend this back like so. And collapse it onto there. Back here. Bend the knee back up. And connect. Take the hip joint here and connect. And connect with the foot. You can hear a lot of snap in there, that's okay, I guess. All right, here we go. Both legs of the H1 are complete. Now, on to the final build. And now, we move on to final assembly. Take the chest and the waist. Combine them. Like so. Take the head and just plug it in. Or not. Here's an easier way. Hopefully. Okay. Take the ball joint. Pop it in. Then pop the head on. There we go. And we take the legs by moving the skirt armor out of the way. We have to angle the poly cap actually to get that on there better. There we go. And then you take the arms and just plop them down. Like so. And there you have it. Not even at the right level, sorry. And as I said, there you have it. The uh, age one of variant that I did. Not quite nice, especially how get the light better here. Can't really, see. there we go. Can't really tell, but there are eyes here, and they're just being covered up by the blue. I'll have a better picture of that later on, but. Blue almost came out like it's violet almost. Turn this guy up, it's pretty simple. Rotate gently. 
and just plug it in like so. And with this guy, you gotta take his hand, fingers off actually. Which is not gonna be as easy as I thought since it's painted. Okay, here we go. Rotate them off. Slide it into the slot. I know it's going to be a bit of a tight fit. There we go. Just come back here. Actually, it'd be better just to pull the hand off itself. There we go. That's what I should have done in the first place. Wrap the thumb like this. So go around it. And then just connect it. Actually, I do it like this for now. And I can fix it afterwards. Here we go. It's a bit tricky. But once it's in there, it's not going to go anywhere. And then you just come back here, you plug the hand back in, and then plug the gun into there like so, and you got a pretty solid connection. So, there we go. I still have to do some detailing to this, but here's what he looks finally after being built. I also have to touch up some areas, like you can see right here on the knees. They definitely need to be retouched up. I have to go back on the back here, get that blue part that part of the black got scraped off somehow. And I gotta go back on this thruster back here because it didn't it got scraped while putting a black part on. Otherwise, that's it. Pretty much done. I, I'd like to thank those who have been watching the, all my videos for this build. And I'd like to thank my, everyone for supporting me in this. Uh, my friends, family, or, yeah. And co-workers that have been very supportive. Yeah, I actually have co-workers that do Gunpla, and they're pretty cool with it. But, uh, I'm very satisfied on how this came out. And a little gimmick here. He pop out action. But, yeah. I'm very happy on how this came out. So that being said, oh, one last thing I forgot. I also painted the other flip figure. There is one inside the cockpit, but I'd rather not risk opening that thing up again. Because I kind of broke it. I, you saw it at the beginning of the video. But there you go, He has he's sitting on top of it. About to say, take over the world or something like that. But yeah, that's my gun plot that I finished building. This took me about a month to do, to do work and whatnot. But again, thanks again for watching, and stay tuned for more gun plot. Take care, guys.